In the previous video, I introduced you to Jenny, which is a library for the Flame game engine on Flutter. Today, we're going to get you set up with a new game. So I have Flutter 3.73 installed. Let's create a new, new game. So you should specify the platforms you're on. So if you're on Windows, you would say Windows. And then let's do Android just to make sure the sizing works. And I'll call my Jenny tutorial. So flutter create hyphen hyphen platforms. Okay, and I'll call it Jenny tutorial I'm using VS code. And in VS code, I have the flutter and Dart extensions installed. So I have Dart here. I have Flutter right there. Uh, someone asked me about this indent rainbows. So that's to match up the, the brackets. Flame is updated very rapidly. So and there, I'm going to add it in the specific version manually. So at the time I'm making the video, it's 1.6. And Jenny's at 1.0.0. So let's give it a, a, a control back tick to open the terminal. Flutter pub get. Make sure that it's all working here. Okay, let's go to the lib file. Let's collapse this. So I'm in the main. And you have your standard Flutter demo. So I'm going to delete everything except for this run app. So this thing requires a specific widget. And Flame comes with a widget called Game Widget. And game widget requires a parameter for game. But there's no game right now. And this is red because I haven't imported the flame package yet. So the control dot and I'll have this import library comes up right here. So the, I have this flame game dot dart, but I need to pass it a game. And so I'm going to create a flame game. In Dart, class is a keyword. And Flame Game is a keyword. And it's a class from the Flame system here, right? So if you mouse over it, you have that extensions installed, you can say that you can see that's coming from this Flame Game. And I have it right there. So I'll instantiate it here. So this stage, there should be no red. And it should be completely blank. So let's give it a go. I'm going to just run without debugging here. I have Linux, but you could be on Windows or Mac or work the same. At this stage, you're going to need a bunch of background images and as well as two characters. So if you don't know how to get it, I'll just show you quickly here. So I'm on itch.io. I just typed in uh, game assets, right? So then you can go to backgrounds. And on the left-hand panel here, there's free. So from here, you could select some free back backgrounds. And if you want the characters for visual novels, uh, you could select some here. If you just scroll through it. So in the demo, I also showed the Doki, Doki Literature Club.
So from here they have the uh, characters and you could get these. They have some sprites here. However, I did buy some assets from Humble Bundle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add it into my game. I'll start with the characters, assets, images, then my pubspec.yaml. I'm going to scroll down where the assets here is commented out. I'm going to change this line to assets. Okay, then you want to make sure to save it here and there should be no errors. So the assets images, I'm going to copy two characters. So I'll go guy and girl. And we'll just drop it in here. And I'll run flutter pub get again. Then I'll select a couple of backgrounds. So this is a roof. It's a dating game, so he's going to try to get on the roof to have a more serious discussion. And they're going to meet on a cruise ship this time. So let's drop the boat in here. It's a quick note that I did resize these, and I'm using WebP format. You don't have to use WebP format. You could put it PNG or JPEG. But the reason I have it in WebP is I actually reduced the size down to 23 kilobytes so for the boat and then for the roof is also the roof is actually 16 kilobytes so I specifically made it quite small I'm probably gonna cut these down too actually so I have the girl down to 23 kilobytes and the guy is down to 21 kilobytes so let's get them into the scene here there are two different concepts in flame for the graphics one is a sprite another one is a sprite component so in this Jenny game, we're going to use an onload method. So this was auto completed for me. I just typed in onload and because I have the, the Dart and the Flutter extensions and it auto populates it for me. I'm going to use a late Dart keyword and the sprite here is from the flame system. So let's just call it, uh, so I have a roof and a boat, so I'll call it boat background here and it's not defined so I'll do control dot and I'll just import the flame component right there so it's this future or construct from dart I'm going to use the oops, async keyword here so now with this async keyword, I can use the Dart uh, async IO and I'm going to load the sprite from this. So boat background, it's right there. So load sprite is method from the flame system. And the path is, the default is assets images. So I just need to uh, select the word here for the name of the file which is boat.webp so at this stage I can actually load the background in here I'm actually going to move it into the Jenny uh, one of the Jenny components but I'll we'll illustrate it here so there's a sprite component from the flame system and it requires a property called sprite. We've already defined the sprite here in this line. So it's, it's the boat background. There's another property for size, and we also the size of the entire game. The second size is the size of the flame game system. So this size right here is a, it's from flame. So if I mouse over it, you can see that it's from the flame game system. And that's how we're getting the size of the game. It's just one of the properties of it. And I'm actually going to refactor it to put into the Jenny game system. But let's see what it looks like right now. So we have the boat on here and then we want to add the characters. So we're going to follow the same 
convention here. Maybe I should call it boat background sprite to be clear. So we'll go late sprite and then we'll call it girl sprite late sprite boy sprite and it's kind of a boy meets girl type of thing so maybe I'll just copy this line here instead of boat background it will be girl and instead of boat it will be girl we'll copy it and we will make the boy one we'll add in the girl first maybe put her on the left so add sprite component and the sprite is the you know what it is right it's the girl sprite and we have to specify a size here okay so I'm going to click on the girl I know she's a 2 to 1 ratio because it's right here in the bottom it's 400 by 800 um, we don't have to have her 400 by 800 but maybe she'll look good at 400 by 800 so let's try it Before I try it, I just realized I called it guy.webp. So if I run it, we have a Kemi. She's looking good. The anchor point here is zero, 00 and her head's not all the way at the top. And it's because in the image, if you can see it, uh, there's quite a bit of transparent space right here. But let's add in the guy. Let's go back to main.dart and we'll add in the guy. Because we're getting a different game and I'll call him Kenji or Ken maybe. Maybe I'll call him Ken. Boy Sprite. Hopefully he's the same size. Yep, he's 400 by 800. It's the easiest thing for you to do if uh, the character is not in a like easy to remember ratio might be to resize it. It doesn't have to be 400 by 800. You can make it any size and then the flame game will resize it. But just to get the aspect ratio correct. And it's going to overlap here, but we'll, we'll show what happens. So there's or one or the other. So all we need to do is put the position for Ken. So in flame, so I'm, I'll just put a couple commas here so you can see it more clearly. So below the size, we're going to go position for Ken. And the vector 2. And the X will be, we'll have the size of the game. And we'll make it like 70% of the size of the game. Size.x. And the top portion will be 0. See what he looks like. Okay, they're looking good. Anchor point for Ken is the left edge right now because they didn't set it to anything else. So he's, it's, everything is lined up with the left edge. I'm going to create a new file called project underscore view underscore component and component is the way that the flame game system handles things like it's similar to a widget so let's create a new class project view component extends position component 
Okay. And this component, position component, is from the flame game system. But we're going to try that something from Jenny. And we'll see whether it works. Dollar view. Okay, I automatically imported Jenny. We we'll also have a has game ref, which is from the flame system. And this component can also, very similar to the main here where we have this on load, each individual component in the flame game system can also have a on load method. So let's go ahead and do that. So remember I said I'm going to refactor it to put everything in this different position component. So we're actually going to duplicate what we did earlier. It's going to be a sprite component. Initially we're not going to pass it any, um, any properties. Because I have this has game ref, I can access the variables from the main dot dart file, which contains the flame game here. So I'm going to do the name of the game that specific game that we are building, which is Jenny game. Now that I've instantiated, you can now access the sprite from the other file because I'm having this game ref right so this game ref is, is linked right here to Jenny game which is in main.dart the Jenny game is right there so that's why I can access the sprite between the different files we call it girl sprite and the position we didn't, spe we didn't specify a position for the girl. We'll do add all. Initially, there's only one component, which will be the background. Make sure it runs. Should blot out. Okay, I didn't add it in. So I'm going to come out of this background and I'll add in the project view. See whether it works. Specify the size here too. Cascade operator. Oh, make it game ref dot size. Let's see what happens. And I'm loading the wrong thing for the background. Background. Boat background sprite. Okay. Now let's, I'm going to delete this background from main.dart. And we will move the grill over. So I'll first comment, comment out Akemi. And I'll put her in here.
curl sprite the size will be I'll add her to the list. And she's there with Ken. So we'll move Ken over. First of all, we'll copy it. So this is boy and sprite equals game ref dot boy sprite. We use another cascade operator for the size and equal vector two three hundred and we use another cascade operator for the position. So the syntax is it's boy. These are dot dot is cascade operators, right? So it's the same as boy dot sprite equals boy dot size equals boy dot position equals. The cascade operator is just a shortcut. So when you see the two dots, it just means that it's chained together, and there's a semicolon at the very end of the chain. So the sprite game ref, if the linkage is up here, right to Jenny game. So we should have the boy sprite from this other file. Let's reload it. And Ken is not there because I need to add him to the list. Boy. And I need to set his position. The position is relative to the game, so it's game ref dot size. Now let's see whether he moves over. Okay, he's looking good. So without the game ref, it's the size of the uh, sprite component, which means that it would just be the size of the boy. Well, we want it to size an entire game screen here. So I'm going to delete these commented out things. So our main dot dart here it still has this flame game. There's the onload section here. And then we've started to build out this project component, which we, we're going to use this mix in from dialog view, which is from Jenny. And this is how we're going to start populating the, uh, the dialog in the next few videos. Subscribe to the channel and you get a nice update of when we make the next video tutorial on how to integrate Jenny into your fantastic flame game. Congratulations on getting this far. Let's keep going.